Mom! Mom, I'm so sorry I wasn't here before. It's okay, honey. What happened? You were fine earlier today. That's right, I felt fine, but all of a sudden I was having a lot of trouble breathing. She seems to have a lung infection. I'm unsure of the cause, but unfortunately, it will most likely be fatal. There's really nothing you can do? I'm afraid the infection is too severe. Perhaps if we had caught on earlier. No, no! Mom, I'm not ready to lose you. Anna, please don't cry, honey. You're gonna make me cry too. I don't know what I'm gonna do without you. It's always been me and you through everything. Mommy, I'm scared to meet the pets from the other kingdoms. Don't worry, Anna. I'll introduce you to everyone and be by your side the whole time. You look so pretty, Mommy. Thanks for playing dress up with me. Oh, of course. You always pick out the best outfits for me. I think you're gonna grow up to be very stylish. Lizzie and Lena do everything together. Sometimes I wish I could have a sister or a best friend like that. You'll always have me, honey. Those wonderful memories will last you forever, Anna. And you are going to be just fine without me. The court will always be there for you. It's not going to be the same. And what about the kingdom? Silly girl, the kingdom will be yours, of course. I'm not ready to be queen, mom. And all the citizens love you. They're going to be heartbroken. You are going to be an amazing queen. And if you think the citizens liked me, they are going to be absolutely in love with you. You have the kindest, purest heart of any pet I know. I love you so much, Mom. I love you more. Rain, would you mind giving us a moment of privacy? Of course. Goodbye, Guinevere. Thank you for everything, Rain. And take good care of my daughter for me. Of course. Always have and always will. Now, Anna, there's something very important I have to tell you before I go. It's something I've had to keep secret from you, as it greatly complicates things. However, I don't feel right about leaving you in the dark forever. Okay, what is it? Are you okay, Rain? Oh, hi, Simon. Yeah, I'm doing okay. It's just hard when you can't save someone, especially when they're so young. Yes, her condition worsened so quickly. It's gonna be hard getting used to her not being here. I know how close you two were. She's been my best friend ever since we were kids. And she was literally my rock when my sister died. I'm sorry, Simon. On another note, I had the pleasure of meeting your apprentice today. Right. I thought I had remembered meeting her before, but she told me she had never even been to the palace. Uh, yeah. My appointments here with the court are usually during the day, and she of course has school during that time. Right, right. Could you remind me? What's her name again? I can't seem to remember- Speaking of her, it's getting late and we haven't eaten dinner yet, so I think I'm gonna get going. Of course. Have a good night, Rain. Thanks. You too. So I had a twin sister, and instead of letting her live a normal life, you killed her because she was a peasant? How could you do something like that? I didn't kill her, Anna. Oh right, sorry. You abandoned her in the woods as a newborn. Like that's any different. I had to do what was best for my kingdom. Having a peasant on the royal court would have caused chaos. You're acting like peasants are from another planet. They're pets just like you and me, just like my sister. The distinction between peasants and royals is the foundation of our society. The kingdoms would be nothing without it. I just can't believe you would sacrifice your own daughter. I can't think of anything more monstrous than- You think I don't regret the decision I made that night? You think it was easy for me to go from having zero to two to one baby all in the same night? I've had to convince myself that I made the right choice all those years ago. If Simon hadn't been there to counsel me, things would have turned out much differently, and I wouldn't be dying with you here tonight. You have every right to be upset with me, but please don't make me out to be a monster. Mom, I'm so sorry. I can't even imagine how hard that must have been. Don't say sorry. I know how bad it sounds. That's why I waited so long to tell you. I just don't want our last moments together to be filled with anger or regret. Me too. I love you, Mom and I'm gonna miss you so much. I love you too, Anna, and whenever you miss me, just remember I'm always watching over you, up in the clouds, with your father, your sister, and the guardians. 
I will. You're finally back! Oh, you didn't have to wait up for me, Jules. It's late. I know. Violet was tired, so she went to sleep already. But I had to know what happened. And it looks like you've been crying. So I'm guessing that means she had a severe lung infection. It had progressed too far by the time I got there, and I just couldn't save her. It's all my fault. What? But you had nothing to do with it. If I had remembered to tell you the message right when you got back, maybe you would have gotten to the palace faster, and her infection wouldn't have been as bad, and then you would have been able to- No, 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 Jules. I can assure you that that amount of time wouldn't have made a difference. Don't you dare blame yourself for this. I know it was probably dumb to think this, but I always had this little flame of hope inside me. That one day I would get to meet my mom and my sister in real life. But now that flame is totally burnt out. Never gonna happen. At least your mother will get to see you now, from up in the clouds. She'll know that you're alive, and get to see the smart, beautiful girl you've grown up to be. And your sister is still alive too. I know, but she probably doesn't even know about my existence at all. I'm guessing my mom never told her if she didn't even tell you or the rest of the court. I am so, so sorry, Jules. <laughs> Violet! <laughs> you didn't tell me the story was gonna get so sad! I know, right? <laughs> Jeez, even I can't help but get a little teary-eyed at this part. I can stop if you want. No, I mean... I want to finish the story, but can't we like skip to the next day or something? I need some comic relief. Anything that's not so heavy. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, we can skip to the next day after the party and everything. Hey Kyle, buddy, are you feeling all right? Hmm. Jack? Yeah, it's me. I'm glad you're finally awake. That was such a fun party last night. Oh, you had fun? Oh yeah, the music was great, the pets, the dancing. Maybe in your dreams. What? You drank too much and were blacked out for like 80% of the party. You didn't even get to go inside. Really? I feel like I remember being there. I don't know why I thought drinking that much was a good idea. I'm definitely not doing that again next time because I feel terrible. I don't think there's gonna be a next time. We got caught. Aw, uh, what? How could somebody have found us in that underground bunker? I honestly don't know. I thought nobody else really knew about it, but I guess I was wrong. Are your parents really mad? I know they can be pretty intense. Actually, not really. When we came home last night, they didn't yell or lecture me or anything. They just told me to go to bed and took away the music box. Prince Jack, your parents would like to see you in the meeting room, please. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. I guess I spoke too soon. Good luck, and thanks so much for taking care of me. Anytime. That's what best friends are for. I heard you wanted to talk to me. Yes, Jack. Please take a seat. Am I in trouble? No. At least, not yet. We just wanted to ask you a couple of questions about your little music box. Uh, okay. I don't really know much about how it works or anything. All I know is that it has a bunch of different songs that are played with instruments I've never heard before. Right. And where did you get it from, exactly? I found it in the woods between here and Clover. I have no clue how it got there, though. Hmm. How odd. It could have fallen from the sky, for all I know. I think we actually have enough information from you. You can go now. Can I have it back? Hmm, no. We need to keep it for a little while. Why? Ever heard of finders keepers? We need it. For... research purposes. And we're your parents, so everything that belongs to you actually belongs to us. Fine. And could you check if Ricardo is still here and send him in, please? Sure. Hey, Ricardo. My parents want to see you in the meeting room. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Before you go, would you mind giving this to the Clover Kingdom's druid? It's for someone on the Clover Court. Of course I'll deliver it. Thank you so much. Come in. Good afternoon, Ricardo. Queen Lily? King Thomas? Is everything okay? Oh yes, everything's great. We just wanted to ask you about arranging a meeting with the head guardian. Oh, 
Well, you know the Guardians usually only meet with druids, for our issue is extremely important. Oh yes, we are well aware of how sacred Guardian meetings are, and would never want to waste their precious time. Alright, I'll ask, but I can't promise he'll accept your request. Thank you very much. Would you mind telling me your issue, so I can let Dimitri know why you want to meet with him? It's classified. You don't trust me. Sorry, Ricardo. It's just that the outcome of this meeting could have implications that affect all kingdoms. Well, I can't just say you want to meet with him and then not tell him what it's about. Let's just say we have something of his, and if he wants it back, he should accept our request for a meeting. Could you be any more vague? Watch it, Ricardo. This is the queen you're speaking to. I apologize, but I'm your druid. You can trust me with your plans. Even if whatever you want to talk about in the meeting affects every kingdom, it doesn't matter because I'm not bound by alliances. Thank you for arranging this meeting, Ricardo. We look forward to hearing Dimitri's response. You are dismissed. Sorry I'm late. It was hard to get away today. Oh, it's okay. It's too bad. They really trashed this place. Well, they kinda had to leave in a hurry. I didn't even know anybody else knew about our little meeting spot. Right. I mean, we come here every week. It's weird we've never run into any other pets. Maybe we should start locking it up. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you seem a little off. Did something happen? Gwen died last night. Oh my dog. Simon, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Was she sick? Or... Yeah, she was sick. But you're feeling okay, right? Like, health-wise? Oh yeah, I feel totally fine. And mentally? I know it's only been a day, but how have you been coping? Honestly, better than I thought I would be. Of course I miss her, but the future is so unsettling right now that my brain won't let me be sad. What do you mean? Now that Gwen's gone, that half-peasant daughter of hers is going to become queen. Peasant blood on the Clover throne. I never thought I'd see the day. Hmm. Maybe I could- And I can't think of any way to stop her from becoming queen. You can't just get rid of her? Like you did with her sister? No, that would be way too hard to cover up. Speaking of her sister- Oh, you're so welcome. Oh! Never mind. I cut you off earlier. What were you gonna say? I was just gonna ask if she's 18 yet. No, she's still 17. And does she have a new legal guardian now that her mom is gone? Yes, actually. Gwen named me her new legal guardian. Then I think I might have an idea of how we can get her off the throne.